in Alexandra mostly. There are home-based crutches and there are a few good crutches, but they don't deal with children's feelings. So Ububele has been opened to help these children who are traumatized to be able to deal with their pain. And it also to help the parents. If they do fight, we do have psychologists, so they can counsel them. They can get free therapy. For those who can afford. Yeah. Those who can, those who can be able to pay school fees, they can come here and get their education. It's not about the money, it's about the, the feelings. The more you can know what the other person might be feeling, and knowing about yourself, you develop more successful relationships. So we developed the Persona Doll program, the Lifelike Dolls, which a teacher or a therapist or a lay therapist or a counsellor can use to encourage children to speak about everyday things. The program deals with the emotional development of children, the kind of emotional capabilities of children which grow over the years from three to six. As an adult, to help the children to, uh, to get in touch with th their feelings. The doll tells its story and the children can connect with it and they can also see that they are, the on they are not the only ones who are in pain. There is somebody else who is just in pain as they are. And in talking, that's how they get the therapeutic we had a, a child that had lost her granny. She didn't speak about this granny after the death and she became quite withdrawn. She attended a number of persona doll classes and then she finally said to her teacher, can I, can I talk privately to Ketiwe? That was the name of the doll. And then Kativa began to speak about her distress and her unhappiness, and was able to cry for the first time about her lost Gogo. We've, we've got chats, and they've got the different faces mm -hmm. that are reflected their feelings. Mm. Like Monday, we have to ask how was your weekend, so that they can talk about their weekend news. That's where you can see how they know how to express themselves. Children proved much more eloquent than we think. There was a child in the, in the preschool, he was very disgruntled because he felt himself to be too black. He said, no, I've tried to scrub myself during the holiday, I took a brush and tried to, and clearly what he was saying, there was, there was something that was unhappy and he'd projected this all into his, into his epidermis. And then the sweetest thing happened, we had an albino child in this room. And she came, she put her arm around this four-year-old boy and she said, you mustn't be unhappy. I felt I was different and my mother assured me that I was very loved and that I was special. And I think you should think of yourself in this way as well. So talk about needing a master's degree in psychotherapy. This little girl understood that instinctively. My greatest ex experience is when I have discarded of the negative feelings and the wisdom that I had um, in teaching the children just blows my, my mind because since I got in touch with my, with my feelings, it's amazing. Bubele is about feelings, feelings, feelings. <laughs> We like to pride ourselves that we specialize in the emotional uh, development of children. And I hope that one day our preschool would become a training school. So preschool teachers or interns could come to Ubebele Preschool specifically to look at the emotional development of children. That's our speciality. Mm -hmm.